Hello gang. Hello friends. Hello gang friends. You know we did Spongebob the other day. He's looking a bit lonely so today we're going to do Patrick Starfish. Yay! <laughs> I'm laughing at my yay. So this was Spongebob take one. Didn't like him, did like him, but needed to change it. So I did it a second time. And then I thought he was too dark. So we did it a third time um, after doing Patrick, who we'll do today. So the third one, turns out his eyes are rounder than, more round than oval. So we sort of changed a few bits, changed some colours. Um, I'm kind of happiest with the third one, I think. I like the proportions of the second. I don't know. He'll probably get done a fourth time, and but there you go. So he needs his friend. He needs his best friend. Although is Gary his best friend? I don't know. Um, so we're going to follow another bullpit addict at bullpit underscore addict um, tutorial. We're going to use Angelic Sonata, The King's Speech, and Inner Peace. We're going to mix these two. Um, these are all from Madame Glam and we're using their ombre brush, ombre brush, and we're going to do an ombre. So we're starting with the purple at the top and then the mix of the other two colours and then we'll just swipe a bunch to blend them together. Does he cover, I think he covers a lot of the ombre, Spongebob covered, covered the whole ombre, um, but it's just a way of getting them down on the nail and being the same sort of level being the same single I'm doing so many hand gestures <laughs> um, so we've ombreed those we've done two coats and now we're taking the Madame Glam brown gel paint I wanted to do it in white but you wouldn't have been able to see so I'm doing it in brown for you the things I do for you so we're starting with um, a very skinny tall triangle an isosceles triangle and then we're going from the top, we're coming down the side of the triangle, but we're not meeting the bottom corner of the triangle. We're keeping it parallel. So the lines will end parallel to the sides of the triangle. And then we're just going to curve this off to the sides because that will be where his um, arms come out. Yes, this is a bull pit addict tutorial. We followed her SpongeBob one. She's amazing. She liked my picture and commented and she followed me, which is bananas. Right, so we've done, we've now added just a big curve, a very shallow U across the whole nail, and then we're going to do a smaller version of that in the center underneath. And then each side of that will bring two little straight lines down and then straight lines out to the side, just all the way out to the side. So we did big curve, small curve in the middle underneath it, and then two straight lines down, two horizontal lines, and now we're adding little triangles at the bottom for his feet, which we will curve out when we come to fill everything in the eyeballs which i think are always the hardest part so this one is so we've got an oval and i made note that the right side of that eye came just just over the left straight line of the triangle and then this one didn't come all the way to the other side um, and one of them will overlap the other once we fill them in and then this started, always make a make a note of where a line starts. Is it, did that line start um, up by the eye or was it a bit, so it was a bit lower down than halfway of the right eye. That was a, a curve and then a big curve underneath and then a curve joining them up. Nice, simple shapes and curves. And then we did another curve. So his mouth is just curve, 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 curve four curves just in the right in the right place <laughs> not just anywhere on the nail I was watching a uh, I think it was a Russian tech I was watching the other day do a character drawing well I wanted to watch it but she started at the coloring in phase and didn't do the how to draw the character bit and that's the hardest part we know how to color in we just need to know how to draw it in the first place we have cured the brown and now we're mixing black and red gel paint to get just just a tiny bit of black because I want to fill his mouth in and I go over the tongue um, instead of leaving a gap to fill it in, but that's fine. Um, I, w I could have found a gel polish this colour, but I like the consistency of gel paints for painting like this. 
because they are firmer they don't move as much um, I just find them a lot better so I was doing a lot of mixing with gel paints because I like the consistency they're not as runny so when you do do a neat or you know a crisp line it stays crisp whereas with gel polish it's it sometimes go, it goes a bit sheerer near the end of the line does that I think any anybody else get that um so we're filling that in and then we're going to full cure um what was I saying about the eyes yes his eyes when I filled them in I kind of adjusted the shape if I needed to which I find easier to do when you're filling something in as opposed to doing the outline because you can see it better when it's filled in and now this is going really bloody quickly sorry now we're mixing the king's speech and candy pop <laughs> and to get Patrick's body colour so we're using the ultra liner just to fill in his whole body in this colour again you don't have to mix colours all the time but I have hundreds hundreds of gel polish colours and sometimes I, I can if I'm trying to find the colour for something, I know exactly which one will be perfect for it. But sometimes, even though I have hundreds, there's still not the exact right shade that you want. So mixing colours is is fine. And I know that people say you shouldn't mix. I'm going to speed this bit up because otherwise we'll be here forever. Um, you shouldn't mix um, different brands. I do it all the time. <laughs> um, and it's fine. Um, but I cure it for whichever brand takes the longest to cure. So if I mix a 30 second colour, a 30 second cure colour and a one minute cure colour, I'd cure it for one minute. Um, but I've had no issues with mixing things. And it's fun as well if you're in the mood, if you're feeling faffy, if you want to faff like a fucking champion. Oh, his tongue. So you may have noticed his tongue was filled in, but I, I'm going over it with different colours. So I, we, we pretended that didn't happen. I'm mixing the ultra pink and the pink gel paints from Madame Glam to get um, a sort of bright baby pink and then with his tongue we the top of his tongue has a little dip in it so we went like when you paint birds you know those birds that look like a letter M a shallow one of those um, just for his tongue because we'll add a dip detail when we outline and now oh this bit was so satisfying um, this bit is mixed I've mixed the green gel paint and then neon green which I don't know what it's called might be called neon green not sure um we've mixed those together because it, his shorts were really bright but not as bright as the neon green they just had a bit of a a bit of a darker hint to them so we've mixed those and we're going to get a bunch of it on using the petal brush and then I'm going to switch to the ultra liner brush I figured out why brush doesn't sit very well in my mouth it's because the R you don't really say it properly like really your teeth touch the bottom inside of your lip really but when you say brush if you say it quickly in normal speed brush it doesn't it just it fucks with my mouth <laughs> stop it so we're curing that and now we're mixing the purple gel paint which is quite dark with the angelic sonata which is what we've used at the top of the nail um i just i was in a mixy kind of mood and then we're doing three curves and then we're going to join them all with upside down u shapes so a curve on the left curve on the bottom and curve on the right and then join them with u shapes and then fill it in i think i messed this up um the more i look at these nails I've done yeah because I've done Spongebob a third time the more I look at them the more I want to change about them uh, I'm probably going to do Spongebob again <laughs> um, but I think his I, can't, I think his this flower was more I should have been focusing more on the shape the cutout in between the bits of purple where the green is I should have been focusing more on the shape of that than the shape of the purple but it gets it on there and it looks fine um, so don't worry too much about it just curves and then join them with use um, ball pit had it explains it really well and she breaks everything down really well to make it easy to follow and then once you have got these sort of basic shapes down it's just coloring in which is easy but also tricky because everything's so fucking small <laughs> 
So it does take a lot of, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Just sort of a lot of it, you know, I'm filling in big bits of, like this is a big bit of his foot because I forgot to fill his feet in. But it's actually really, really small. So I'm using the very tip of my brush and everything is very sort of teeny tiny. But I think the scariest part about doing these is, or even following, you know, following her tutorials, was deciding to actually do it. Oh, we're now taking candy pop and brown gel paint. We're going to give his freckly bits. I just mixed a tiny bit of brown in with that just to make it a bit darker than his body colour. And I noticed he also has one on his foot. So we'll put one there. And then I'm taking just candy pop and we're going to outline him. She didn't do this, but I was looking at a, an, an actual picture of him as well as her um, tutorial. And he does seem to have a kind of darker shade of his skin colour around the outside. So I thought, why not around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. Do, 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 stop it. And we're also going to use this colour to give little side bits here where his belly sticks out, but also where his, you know, just the line between arms, his arms and his tummy. And now we're going to take the black gel paint and we're going to outline everything. So we're going to go along his shorts, nice thin strokes. But you want you want them to be thin, but also really black. So normally when you do a thin stroke, obviously you'll put less on your brush so that not much can be put down for it to be too thick. Oh right, this line, um, the bottom curve went from the inside of his right leg all the way to the outside and then when we add the legs the leg that we're on now that line we did just before that the inside line started just above where the curve ended from the middle so now we're just going to outline everything she didn't outline his shorts but i decided i wanted to so we'll just uh, the flowers sorry um, so we'll outline that and then we'll add some his eyes and whatnot and he'll come alive. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, no, wait. Yes, I found the scariest part towards doing about doing these nails because I noticed some of the comments say, you know, oh, that, you know, I really like them, but I couldn't do it. And that's the scariest part, deciding, yes, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to try this. Because I've been putting off doing things like this, doing characters that are known, you know, that people recognise. Oh, the tongue. We're going to do a curve inwards and then another curve. So we've done that sort of bird M, but so that line between them shows the sort of indent of the tongue. Um, I found that just deciding to sit down and try it has been something I've avoided for years and years because it was just like, oh, it's not going to work for me. I can't do it. Um, but it turns out you can, um, even if it takes three, four, five, six times to get it how you want it. You start, your next one's always going to be better if you're doing the same thing. So just sitting down and deciding, do you know what, sod it, I will try this. If it looks shit, I've tried it, I can try again, or I can go, let's try a different character, or let's try different whatever it is you're avoiding. So just do it. Okay, that's your order of the day. <laughs> um, his eyes, the eye on the inside, I did all the way around, and then, so the eye on the outside was just behind it. So the inside one got the full circle or oval, and then the other one, not full so it sits behind it and then two ovals for his pupils and two little lines over where his um, belly button is and then we're going to outline him all in black nice and thin but dark oh yeah that's the other thing um when you're doing thin but dark lines you don't put as much on your brush because you want it to be thin but then it's not as dark so I think it's about using the very tip and whatever products you've got on the brush, stretch it out. But if you need to, oh, eyebrows, two little dashes. And then these two I wanted coming off his face a bit. So we're doing the halfway line is in the middle of the black outline. 
And that's that. Then we're going to top, uh, top coat him with velvet and he'll be done. He was a lot easier than I thought he was going to be. Um, so if SpongeBob is a bit, ah, try, try Patrick first. Um, but yes, yeah, so the blacks, I sometimes would do a thin outline and then I'd do the same outline again, thin with not a lot of product on. So it's just as thin, but it's darker, if that makes sense. But that's probably not the best way to go about it. And here he is next to the current SpongeBob. He might change. I filmed Squidward. SpongeBob might look different in the next, in the, Squid, in the Squidward video if I've changed him again. But there they are. The two buddies are together. They're, they're not looking at each other. They're looking at something that's clearly exciting. Um, I hope you like them. Thank you so much to Ball Pit Addict for these tutorials. They really are amazing. And, and I don't think I'd have been brave enough to attempt without them. And thank you to you guys for being here. I appreciate it so, so much. Subscribe and like. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, bye, bye.